the trademark of Singapore cuisine. The mud crab has arrived in Korea. A unique blend of crab and sauce will satisfy both your eyes and your mouth. Come and join me at Crazy Crab, where you will feel the taste of Singapore's coast. The largest man-made lake in Asia is spread out in front of you at Ilsan Lake Park. Let us start our great exploration of the tasty alleys found at Ilsan Lake Park, a resting place in the middle of the city where you can fully appreciate the beauty of nature and where a variety of tastes will stop you from passing by. A place where you can barely find any dust. This is a country where you can meet the Marion with its lion head and fish body. That's right, the beautiful Singapore. Singapore is also well known for its unique delicious dishes, starting from noodles, seafood and rice dishes. So today, please join me to try their unique Singaporean crab dish. Now follow me. All sides are built with windows that include a wide open, sophisticated interior, Crazy Crab. Crazy Crab is located on the way to the Galleria department store from Hakdong Crossroads. Well, Crazy Crab is a uh, traditional Southeast Asia crab restaurant. Uh, our crabs are from Sri Lanka and they, uh, we fly them in from Singapore along with the other ingredients about three times a week. Uh, as a result, we can offer fresher and tastier crabs to our customers. Uh, well, I travel around quite often and uh, I had the opportunity to eat chili and pepper crabs in Singapore about three years ago and I really fell in love with it. And I wanted to bring that taste to Korea and we finally did three years later. In terms of name, uh, Crazy Crab means that we offer such a good taste in our food that it makes everyone happy and hopefully our customers can agree to it. The dish that will be shown to you from Crazy Crab is a crab dish with a well-blended mix of fresh crab and spices that create a unique taste experience. Added to this, they also have fried rice, fried dishes, and many other dishes. Shall I introduce you to several tasty menus? The top menu is pepper crab. The bitter taste makes your mouth want more. Here, even on fried rice, there are generous pieces of crab meat. This unique tasting fried rice is fried adding tender crab meat, savory shrimp, and vegetables. Frying the whole young crab while the shell is still tender and then eating it with the shell on is the soft shell crab. Mud crab is an exotic dish sent from Singapore Singapore's culture is a unique blend of Oriental and Western styles. At Crazy Crab, although an exotic Southeast Asian style basically prevails, as seen by the chandelier and decorations, the European style is also felt throughout. Wait a minute, I'm the main character. That's correct, the dish shown by today's main character with mud crab is curry crab. Even the chef has flown here from Singapore. This taste missionary who is spreading the trademark of Singapore's famous crab dishes to the world. With eight years of experience is Chef Jimmy Moon. I noticed that there are many ingredients on the table right now and the crab looks very fresh. What kind of crabs do you use here at Crazy Crab and what is the difference between the crabs here and in other restaurants? Oh, actually we are using Singapore crab and it's very meaty and sweet. The difference is because the crab itself it weighs about 500 to 600 grams and it's a bigger version. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow, so uh, what is the dish that you're going to show us today? Today I'm going to show you the Thai style of a Thai chili crab. The difference is uh, it has a little bit mild flavor of curry and a little bit spicy. And I'm going to use duck egg and chicken egg to cook. Wow, I can smell the flavor already, but um, shall we go in and make it together again? Sure. To make curry crab, you first need to prepare the mud crab and then eggs, duck eggs, curry powder, soy and seasoning sauce and other seasonings.
first heat the water to boil the crab. To boil the crab, you will need enough water to cover it well. Place the prepared crab with the shell on. Of course, when you place your order, a live mud crab is then caught and cooked at that time. By the way, don't overcook the crab. About two minutes is enough. Drizzle some vegetable oil in a pan. When the oil is heated, add and saute the sliced onion, red chili, spring onion, celery leaves, and the rest of the ingredients. Now add the drained boiled mud crab. Save the stock from the boiled mud crab. I hope you haven't thrown it out. Pour the mud crab stock over the cooking vegetables, crab, and boil. As I watch it boil, it is looking really tasty. The truth is, crab is most flavorful right after boiling it. Now it's time to make the sauce. Prepare one egg and two duck eggs. Now add and mix the curry powder, soy and seasoning sauce, chili oil, fried garlic, milk and other ingredients. At Crazy Crab, all ingredients were all flown directly from Singapore. As for the mud crab, it only will live in a very clean environment with a constant temperature. It is a very difficult task to be provided with live crabs. Because mud crab has a superior taste compared to other crabs and is high in nutrition, this is why Crazy Crab insists on using only mud crabs. Wouldn't this kind of effort decide the taste of the food? Now, finally it's time for the prepared curry sauce. Over the parched vegetables, pour a generous amount of the rich curry sauce and then mix together. Can you smell the aroma of the curry? When you feel they are cooked, place them neatly on a lettuce leaf. Now the curry crab is complete. Do you want to share this curry crab, the delicious dish with a rich aroma of curry that stimulates the senses, by just looking at this mouth-watering dish? It is tasty if you take out the meat and generously spread on the sauce. A dish like this is at its best when you don't worry about your face and use both hands to hold the crab and to sip and suck out the meat and the juice. When you have finished your crab dish, there will be lots of juice left, so spread these juices over your fried rice. You will be able to experience a very unique taste. Wow, everybody is too busy eating to even look at each other. Do you like this place's atmosphere? 오늘 페퍼크랩 먹었는데요. 향이 굉장히 독특하고요. 맛도 딴 데서 먹어보지 못한 그런 맛인데요. 굉장히 맛있어요. 아 제가 여기 소문을 듣고 처음 왔는데 지금 제가 먹은 음식은 커리 크랩이거든요. 근데 커리 향하고 게살하고 조화가 너무 잘 이루어져 갖고요. 어 되게 새로운 맛을 느꼈어요. 여기 와서. It is said that the scent from trees is supposed to relieve stress and fatigue from our everyday lives. So why don't you recharge yourself by having a nice dinner or taking a stroll at the park? Cuisine Korea, it is now time for me to say goodbye, but please stay tuned for Looks Great. Looks Great. Royal Hotel named after the palace once occupied by the royals. The energetic lobby, tidy interior and the large lighting fixtures create a very bright atmosphere. Shall we see what kind of dishes are waiting for us? The Seoul Royal Hotel is the center of the shopping mall in Myeongdong. It is located in the Seoul Royal Hotel. 
제가 추천해드릴 레스토랑은 일식당 기쿠인데 기쿠에서는 일본인 요리사가 직접 빚어낸 초밥, 생선회 등 다양한 요리가 준비되어 있고 특히 주말에는 저렴한 가격에 일식 부페 메뉴를 가족과 함께 즐길 수 있습니다. An authentic Japanese restaurant, Kiku, meaning chrysanthemum in Japanese. Japan is known as a country of cleanliness, and this restaurant being an authentic Japanese restaurant represents just that. With a fountain and a sushi corner that makes fresh flatfish, sea bass, and other sushi dishes depending on the customer's taste. The tadami room and other table rooms are also available for special gatherings. Meet the many Japanese dishes served at Kiku. The refreshing clean sea bass soup is made by boiling sea bass and various vegetables in katsubushi stock. You can also enjoy the healthy lobster sashimi that leaves a savory taste in your mouth along with the age-preventing tuna sashimi that has a variety of tastes depending on which part you are eating. Salt-grilled red tile fish is cooked by selecting the best red tile fish from Jeju, then grilled for a neat, tender taste. You can taste all kinds of sushi made from tuna, sea bream, eel, along with others in the assorted sushi menu. These are the top dishes that represent the taste of Kiku. However, the most distinct features of Kiku is the Japanese buffet. The Japanese buffet is open every Saturday, Sunday, and most holidays, offering about 50 different kinds of Japanese dishes and around 10 varieties of Korean and Chinese dishes. JKiku에서는 희생 요리 같은 일본 청통 요리를 전문적으로 선보이고 있습니다. 저희는 아침마다 들여오는 생선을 신선도 유지를 가장 중요하게 여기고 있으며 각종 일본 요리와 잘 어울리는 독특하고 맛깔스러운 소스를 만드는데 많은 시간을 활려하고 있습니다. Experience the taste offered by the Japanese restaurant Kiku at the Royal Hotel. Do you see this beautiful lake behind me? Well, it's one of the biggest man-made lake parks in Asia, where the atmosphere changes depending on the season. It's the one and only Korea's Gyeonggi-do Ilsan Lake Park, grand and spectacular. Today, we'll be spending a day here out by the lake, and of course, I'll be showing you some of the great eateries around this area. Let's begin. Located at the entrance of Chairo to Ilsan, Ilsan Lake Park with more than about 1 million square meters has a large promenade, large lake, other resting places, and convenient facilities is a cozy resting place for all. For those residing around this park, they favor its morning and evening promenade course. You can reach Ilsan Lake Park located at Gyeonggi-do Koyangsi Ilsangu Changadong when you get off at Cheongbarsan subway station at line number 3 and walk for about 5 minutes. With an endless things to do and see, it attracts many visitors, and it's also famous for having many tasty eateries. So shall we go and explore the wonders around Lake Park? After all that walking around and exploring of the Lake Park, I've sure built up an appetite. Now let's go consume some delicious calories. Here we are, our first restaurant. Let's go inside. Jung is a special rib house located opposite of Ilsan Lake Park. Im Kok Jung looks more like a cafe than your usual rib house. The tables are set wide apart for a quiet meal and floor seating tables for comfortable dining. The customers also find the view of the Ilsan Lake Park while dining a special bonus. And because the owner is an actor, there are lots of Korean celebrities, personal handwritten autographs decorating the restaurant. Well, I heard Im Kong Chung has something quite different from other places, and I wonder what that is. I know that there are many restaurants in Galbi, but what is the difference between Im Kong Chung and 예, 저희 임꺽정은 일산 호수공원 맞은편에 위치해 있어 찾기가 쉬우시고요. 어, 들어오시면 탁 트인 공간과 
고급스러운 일시집을 연상시키는 인테리어를 접하실 수 있습니다. 널찍한 다담이 위에서 호수공원 경치를 바라보면서 식사를 하시자면 가족 모임과 비즈니스 모임에 아주 적합하다 하실 수 있겠습니다. 어, 그리고 이렇게 보면요. 어, 여기 반찬들도 굉장히 푸짐하게 보이고 그리고 특히 여기 갈비가 굉장히 어, 신선하게 보이고 맛있게 보이는데요. 이 집만의 어, 비법이 있다면요? 예, 저희는 어, 좋은 육질의 고기만을 엄선해서 생갈비와 양념갈비를 만들고 있고요. 어, 생갈비를 참나무 숯에 은은히 구워서 소금 간에 살짝 찍어 드시면 어, 담백한 육즙과 생갈비의 참맛을 느끼실 수 있습니다. 어, 기대가 되는데 한번 구워 주시겠어요? 예. 임곽정 only uses meat that contains selenium. which taken in consistency has a significant effect in preventing aging. Only large cuts of ribs with a succulent taste are barbecued over oak charcoal and then are eaten with mushrooms. The taste of purgogi with a variety of vegetables placed on a rock plate and covered with stock and boiled. Dukbegi dish is boiled with cheonggukjang, proven worldwide as the best health food having various vegetables and tofu. Another distinct feature of this place is that they barbecue each cut meat over oak charcoal, so the meat is more tender than other meat. How is the taste? 네, 버섯 전골을 먹었는데요. 버섯하고 고기가 참잘 어울리는 게참 맛있네요. <웃음> 갈비찜에도 불구하고 신세대적 감각에 맞게 인테리어도 잘했고 깔끔하다고 생각을 합니다. Eating food as delicious as this must be the best way to good health. After eating a very healthy meal, I'm once again continuing the Tasty Alley exploration. The second is Sun Lake Park's Tasty Eatery is the Chinese restaurant Wazu. 어, 안녕하세요. 와, 어, 여기 식당 이름이 와즈인데요. 어, 이름이 참 독특한데 어떤 의미가 있나요? 네, 저희 와즈는 한국어로는 와, 즐거워 하는 뜻이고요. 영어로는 와우, 시즐 이라는 뜻입니다. 아, 그렇게 이렇게 보니까 인테리어도 참 특이하고 어, 여기 분위기도 참 좋은데요. 아, 이 레스토랑은 어떤 레스토랑인가요? 네, 와즐은 차이니스 패밀리 레스토랑으로 네 가지 다른 테마의 공간으로 구성되어 있어서 다양한 공간에서 식사를 하실 수 있는 곳이고요. 그리고 와즐은 미니불도장, 정갈복, 삼겹살 요리와 같은 70여 가지의 정통 중식 요리를 드실 수 있는 곳입니다. 아, 그렇군요. A unique Chinese family restaurant is Wazul. The four different themes and surrounding spaces capture your attention. First, the Chongqing has Caesar and King Kwangeto and other separate rooms used for quiet meetings or for business and private gatherings. Gongshil Gongshil is the hall next to the kids' playroom with this more than 100 meter square size space is a suitable place for families to dine while watching their children run and play. Margulin is a joint bar where you can have a drink or a simple meal. Now, shall we taste the trademark dish of this place where you can choose your surroundings and your parched bok choy gai baishara? First, clean and prepare the bok choy and cut them in half. Remove the seeds from the green pepper and prepare by slicing into thin strips. If you lack vitamin A, your bone growth will stop, and in peppers, there's apparent vitamin A, carotene. Slice the red pepper into thin strips like the green pepper. If you boil the pepper, the vitamin C will be lost, so it's ideal to fry instead. It's good for your skin and also helps relieve stress. And when you juice it, there's nothing better for relieving fatigue. Slightly boil the shiitake mushrooms and slice into large thin strips. Parch the ginkgo nuts, slice the bamboo shoots in thin strips, and the vegetables preparation is complete.
slice the gaibashira in half and then mark a cross. Gaibashira, like Kadi B, is the muscle part of the clam that opens and closes the shell and is a nutritious food full of protein and minerals and is low in fat. Prepare several and cross mark each one of them. In a deep pan, drizzle a generous amount of oil and lightly fry the gaibashira. Gaibashira is naturally chewy and tender when eaten raw, baked, or boiled. Whatever way you cook it, and it's an ingredient that has the superb chewy texture. Now drizzle some oil in a pan, pour in some water, season with salt, and lightly boil the bak choy. Bak choys are in the mustard family and are used regularly in expensive Chinese cooking. And when you drink the juice, it's known to straighten your stomach and is especially effective for constipation and tumors. The seed of this vegetable is also good for hair loss. Now it's important to cook just for a short time. Drizzle the spicy tasting chili oil and add the sliced spring onion and saute until the aroma is strong. Add a small amount of tubanjang sauce and rice wine and parch again. Tubanjang has a unique aroma and is a spicy tasting sauce made by adding chili and spices to bean paste, which is usually used in mapa tofu or spicy parched meat. Now it's time to parch the prepared vegetables. Parch together the red and green peppers, mushrooms, ginkgo nuts, bamboo shoots, and red chili. Now add the oyster sauce that adds aroma and taste and boil. Oyster sauce is made by fermenting fresh live oysters and even a small amount can add a very unique aroma and taste. And it's all-purpose sauce used often in sauteed and hard-boiled dishes. Season it with sugar, pepper and soy sauce and boil until there is just a small amount of soup left. This means that the mixture has blended well to create a rich tasting sauce. Add the starch powder that will thicken the sauce, the remaining ingredients and stir well. Now when you finally add the chili oil, it will add a spicy flavor. The sauce preparation will be complete. Now place the boiled bok choy on the pan, spread with butter, and then add the mushrooms. On the mushrooms, place the fried gaibashira and spread a generous amount of finished sauce and spicy tender parch bok choy gaibashira is on its way. And finally, the parched bok choy gaibashira is complete. Samgyeopsal dish is made by steaming samgyeopsal in bulk for three hours and then served with tubanjang sauce. A luxurious dish of great effort. Cheonggabok, a delightful soft taste. Wow, you feel full just by looking at this Chinese dish. A tasty dish you want to share. Korea's writer once said, when you look at the tender greens, you are just happy to know that you are alive. I guess each one of us have our own different moments in time when we feel the joy of living, but I hope when you come to Lake Park, you'll find a memorable moment you could keep with you forever. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you again next time.